Hi, this is Karen. I'm in the office at the moment and as you can see, I have a little visitor um, who, interesting enough, the Connect is picking up on. I wasn't sure whether uh, I would be fortunate enough uh, to have the opportunity for this little one to be captured. But I think uh, for those that have been waiting on this, and I think I can safely say we know who that is, um, I've been able to convince her to be a part of um, this little thing as her way of being able to do something for Christmas, I guess, as a way of showing that that she's around in some form. Now, can you please say your name? Can you say your name out loud, please, Dom? Okay, now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to put in um, the infrared, just so you can see. She's still there. Now I'm going to stand up and I'm going to walk over. So you'll see me start to come onto the screen, which is where I am here. I'm actually in the background and coming up beside her, as you can see, I'm right near where she is on the chair. Uh, so you know that <laughs> this is why, um, or how it's tracking this little one. Uh, I think it's really important to let the parents know that she's around and every now and then lately she's been coming to look at me, haven't you? <laughs> so I'm going to move this, but as you can see, don't know what you can see, I'm going to move it sideways just so you can see, oh there she is, I'm going to touch my hand, okay, now <laughs> I'm moving that and as you can see the shape is actually moving at the same time, so even if I were to turn sideways, you know, there's a, an obvious uh, change in direction. And I'm going to move this back. So that way, it's all right. I'm not going to let you fall. There we go. So I'll move back a little bit. Don't want it back too much. I should say no. <laughs> okay, is that all right? Can you still see yourself? She's looking at herself on the monitor here. Um, but if I move it back a little bit more, you'll see, you'll see better. Can you see? Can you wave? Wave. Wave to mum. Wave. Wave to mum and daddy. Can you do it? Yeah? Good girl. Okay. It's great. Okay. So I'm going to go back around here and I'll leave you to sit over there. Now the reason it's tracking so strange is because when spirit energy is around, um, they utilise the, the energy in the room to manifest. Now sometimes it does take a lot of energy and I think it's really exciting. I'm going to move it down so we can track her a little better because I've moved her back a bit too far to the point where she's now not being tracked as well. So I'll move you back over there, darling. Okay, you're a bit closer now. So can you can you wave? Can you do a wave for mummy and daddy? No, she's too busy looking at herself on the monitor. Okay, I'll move. I'll move you there. Okay. There you are. Is that better? Okay. 
Okay. There. Yeah. All right. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. <laughs> This is um, this is how fascinating it is with the experience. Yeah. I, whoa, don't get lost. All right, so I'm moving the chair around. Yeah. As you can see, she's still there and quite interested in. You want to sit? You want that still? Okay, no worries. So, okay, what are you doing? All right, she's playing on the chair. I'll let her know. Please. Move it that way so you can get a bit more of an idea of her. She, no, I can't sit on there. No, no, you touch the teddy bear. All right, now hopefully what I can do is get her um, touching the teddy bear. She's trying so hard to get it to light up. So I'm going to put it on the setting here. Can you, yes, yeah, she's trying so hard to get it lining up. Can you try and make the light flicker, the one near your leg? Yeah, see, she's touching the belly of the, the teddy bear in order to try and get it to light up. Maybe there may be a little uh, malfunction in it. Um, maybe she's not able to produce enough energy to get that lighting up. So all these possibilities can occur uh, at the time of spirit communication. What I'm going to do is see if I can help her by turning on the spirit box. Let's see if we can use some energy from here. Hello. What's your name? Okay, now, not obviously. Um, it's Karen. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn that off because I don't want to distract her. She's, as you can see, trying to get um, the teddy bear to light up by touching its hands, by touching its belly, its leg, um, to no avail. But the good thing is we've got the tracking, uh, which is being able to track. As you can see, when I came in on the screen, it didn't move that. Can you try to touch the hands of the teddy bear, just the hands, just the hands. Can you put your hand on its hand? Okay. Well, don't worry. <laughs> All right, you keep trying. Okay. Well then, that explains why the teddy bear is not lighting up. But anyway, um, Merry Christmas uh, to the parents and family of this little one. She's very happy. I actually feel, you know, that lately she's been in visiting quite a bit. Not every single day, but probably for about a minute or two. This is probably the longest she's stayed around. Um, so it gives you an idea that, you know, this is like almost 10 minutes that she's been around. So I actually feel that it's wonderful that she's trying so hard to make an effort. And it's because before I turned this on, I asked, um, as I noticed her enter the room, I said, could you please um, make her 
you know, make yourself appear as much as possible so that we can do this for your parents and your loved ones. Well, I didn't use the word loved ones, but the people you love. Um, I said, do you want us? Do you want to be able to see yourself on here? And all I got was yes, please, which was sweet. Um, and here we go. So we've done it. Anyway, thank you so much uh, for being here. And in case you can hear her name, it's Danny Jo. Bye for now. Hi, this is Karen and here is my little visitor again who has decided to remain seated as I move the chair back. You can get an idea of how big this little one is. Uh, so it isn't a, a very large adult, as you can tell. Um, I just thought it would be interesting to show that she is, you know, being able to sit in some way. Uh, the interesting thing with spirit is they really uh, have to create, if you want, a form or a shape. And I, I think it's absolutely wonderful that she's remained here. I think she's intrigued, actually, with the fact that she's turned into a, like a stick person. Um, so as you can see, the feet are there, the hands. It is, it is really um, wonderful that she's participated today. She still hasn't been able to get the... Oh, good girl. <laughs> Can you do it again? That's really, really good. Wow, thank you. Uh, so as you can see, she's actually able to get the light moving, uh, or flashing, I should say, which is wonderful. I think she's uh, quite excited about the fact that if we can... <laughs> Just a bit more movement and you can get it. Oh, there we go. Very good. Okay, can you do it again? Just tap it. Tap that little box behind you. Hit it. Maybe she's hitting it with her hand. So you can actually see the interactions. She's... It takes a lot um, for spirit energy to even tap or, or make things um, flash, but uh, she has been trying, she's been very devoted and dedicated to making an effort uh, of getting it to flash. She tried the teddy bear for quite some time to no avail, uh, so I actually feel that it must be either a faulty wire in the teddy bear or she may have not been strong enough uh, to manipulate that. Okay, she, she's not able to get it flickering. Okay, don't overexert yourself. But anyway, I just thought I would add this at the end of this video so you can actually see that she is um, still here. Uh, there's some people walking by, as you can see, not phased at all. She can actually get a really good look at herself at the moment in stick form. <laughs> Um, if I have a look on the UV, see what happens in this. This just pauses the frame for a second before it loads the UV. It's not making much of a difference there. Um, yeah, so there you go. It's, it's done really well with being able to track her 